Distance has the symbol uppercase letter D and is defined as the length of the path traveled and it is measured in meters and it is a scalar quantity meaning that it has magnitude only. So if we consider an object that travels a path where it moves 3 meters upwards and then 5 meters to the right and then 7 meters downwards and then 4 meters to the right we can say that the distance traveled by this object is the total length of that path traveled which is the sum of all of those movements that is 3 meters plus 5 meters plus 7 meters plus 4 meters which gives us a resultant distance of 19 meters meaning this object has traveled a distance of 19 meters and since it is a scalar quantity there is no direction required. Displacement on the other hand has the symbol x often denoted with a line on it to remind us that it is a vector quantity and it is defined as the straight line from the starting point to the end point of a journey. So we would find the displacement of this object by drawing a straight line from the starting point to the end point of this journey and that would be defined as our displacement. We would often be required to use Pythagoras to find the exact value of that displacement and we can do that by seeing that the displacement to the right is a total of 5 plus 4 which is 9 meters and the displacement in the vertical plane is 3 minus 7 which would then be 4 meters downward. So we can then calculate the displacement of this object using Pythagoras saying that this being a right angled triangle our displacement squared the hypotenuse of that triangle is equal to the square root of both of these sides which means that we can then solve to find that the displacement of this object would be 9.85 meters. Now we can very clearly see there's a big difference between the distance and displacement of this object and that comes from the definition where distance is the length of the path traveled and displacement is simply the straight line path from the start point to the end point of a journey. Obviously since displacement is a vector it is important for us to define the direction where we would most commonly use trigonometry to define the direction in terms of some angle theta that would be measured either from the vertical or from the horizontal.